today we're going to show you how to collect a water sample for the Florida Microplastic Awareness Project. We're going to use our one liter Nalgene water collection bottle. And the first thing we're going to do is rinse the bottle three times. We want to do this just in case there's any contamination, any existing fibers inside the bottle. So to rinse it three times, we're going to fill it about a quarter to a third of the way full, swirl the water around, and dump it out. We're going to do that a total of three times. And we're also going to rinse the lid three times. So our bottle is now ready for us to collect our sample. We want to move just a little bit away from where we dumped that potentially contaminated water to collect our real sample. And what we're going to do is hold the bottle horizontally, parallel with the surface of the water, and just carefully lower it down into the water, collecting the water right at the surface. when the bottle's full, we go ahead and cap it. That's all it takes to collect your sample. The easiest way to find the latitude and longitude for your sampling site is to use Google Maps. That is assuming you don't have a GPS that you can just read off the coordinates when you're at the site. So from Google Maps, you want to go to maps.google.com and in the search box, you're going to enter the name of the approximate location. It could be the street address. It could be the name of the park. I'm just going to put in Herschel King and you can see it auto populates. I want Herschel King boat ramp. I click on that and the map is going to open showing me that site. Now, in order to locate the exact location within the park, I'm going to switch by clicking on this little Earth button here to get the satellite view. And then I'm going to zoom in because I know exactly where I collected my sample. It was right here next to that piling. And when I click on that point, you can make out that it says 29.531132 comma negative 81.157311. That is my latitude and longitude in decimal degrees, which is the requested format. So those are the numbers that I'm going to enter on my data sheet.